What is going on, everybody? It is Craig, and I am back, and I have a, well, I guess a surprise Christmas Eve unboxing. It definitely was a surprise to me, because the tracking numbers for this said it was supposed to be here the 26th. And then I happened to see some people have videos up of it. I didn't look, didn't check. I was able to find temptation. Um, so I'm like, huh, maybe my came over here. And I checked the tracking, and it says it was dropped off at 6.36 a.m. I'm recording this at like 10 at 10.30 a.m. And... Or 10 13. And it's like I went outside and like I box was that. So yay. This is my favorite probably my favorite little box that comes in. Uh hard box, hard box, hard pack. You know, four Blu-rays, twenty some dollars. You know, it's a good way to add to the hard collection. They, it's also a great way to get some rare stuff because they do have a hard pack exclusive every month, which I'll say this every time I talk about the exclusives, Kill Pinata is the best one they've done so far. But they also did their own version of, like, Pieces, which was pretty cool. Um, a couple other things, too. Cannibal Holocaust, which I know people really love that idea of it, although I'm not, that's not a movie I'm too fond of, um, given, you know, all that. But I don't know anything about this. Like I said, I did see people have videos, but I didn't watch any of them because, unlike, the only, the only box I cheat on is Little Box of Horrors, and that's just because there's so many variations. So... I do know from what they said, they did say there were two Christmas movies in here, which is good. Um, and they did say one of them was, um, one of them was, had a bonus, um, what's it, uh, tr review or commentary by Blood, Bath, and Beyond. So I'm almost assuming that might be the, the, the special one, I don't know. Blood, Bath, and Beyond, if you're not familiar with them, very cool YouTube channel. Um, you know, good, a couple of good old Canadians, I believe. Uh, and they do really, they do reviews, hard unboxings, etc., etc. So here we go. We got our four. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Any of them feel weird? No, none of them have that special case, so I can't tell you which one is definitively the. Well, maybe I can. Hold on. Maybe I can. Okay, so we'll try to save this one for last, but that's sad. Uh, Swift cover. Who knows? First one we have. Krampus. Now they did say we have a two Christmas movies, and I got to be honest with you, I don't think I own Krampus. Um, I, I don't own Krampus. You know why I don't own it? Because I didn't like it when I saw it, and like every time I've seen it since, I've liked it more and more. So I actually am pretty happy to have a copy of it. Um, it also says it has a digital, the way DVD, digital HD. Uh, Okay, no, it's not. There's not a digital copy. Instantly stream and download. Okay, maybe there's. I like that. Krampus, solid, solid movie for me. I'll be honest. When they said there was a Christmas horror movie, I was so hoping Better Watch Out would pop up. You know, from last year, the like the evil Home Alone type movie. Um, but now that Krampus came out, I think that limits that option a little bit. I have a feeling the other Christmas movie might be an older one. Number two, we have. Oh, it's, uh, this is the thing that I don't love. Um, uh, it's okay, horror pack. It's, I have this. I actually got the, um, was it Arrow? Was it Vespa? Somebody, somebody, some company made a, um, a, 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 a Black Force DVD with a reticular, reticular cover. Reticular? Reticular cover? Um, Sevon, so, Arrow. I don't think it's either of them. I don't know. Phil, who was it? Just put in the comments who it was, Phil. Um, but this, okay, this is the one that, yeah, I figured it would be on that special one. Uh, this is the one that they use the commentary of Bud Bath and Beyond. So that's neat, but that's the only, see, that's the only special thing on, thing on it. So, again, Jack Frost is a fun movie, so if you don't if you don't have it, if you didn't have Jack Frost, you have it, and that's cool. You know, but it's one of those things that's like, I, that means there's no better watch out. But that's not, I'm still going to give that two for two. Because Jack Frost is a good movie, and I do think it's pretty cool they reach out to Bud Bath Beyond to do that. But, oh, gosh. So that's the, that's the original. Hard Pack Rim Edition, Blue Way. Um, number 30. I think I doubt that's only the third one they've done, though, I believe. That was an existing movie, and they just sort of did stuff to it. But next, I guess we'll take out the. No, we'll leave the subcover in there, because I think people. People will get excited for that. I don't necessarily care. I can't think of who did the. the, the fancy one with Jack Frost, though. Same guy who, same person who did the ice cream truck. 
um, or Ice Cream Man. The one with um, Von Howard. Not, oh, not Von Howard. Um, Von Howard's brother, whose name... I, I'm forgetting everything, guy, everything today, people. But you know what? I love this movie. And I don't know if I own it. If I bought it, I'll probably work to give, put it on a giveaway. I have to go through my own. My own. I talk about this all the time as like a underrated slow burn type movie. The Autopsy of Jane Doe. I'll tell you what, the selections here are phenomenal. You know, you have Krampus, which again, grows on you, I swear. You have Jack Frost, which is fun. You can't treat it too seriously, it is a killer snowman. So if you if you don't have suspension of disbelief, then that's not for you. And then you have the Autopsy of Jane Doe, which is the best movie so far in here. And it, you know what, even if I do own it, this is a special collector's edition. Um, special features... Short film, okay, from the director, that's cool. You know, I like that a lot. Um, and let's see what the slipcover one is. We have... You know what? I know this movie. I haven't seen it, um, but I know it, and I am happy to own it, Incarnate, with um, with Aaron Eckhart. This is... Like, it's about a... a it's, it, I think it's about a guy who exercises who's not an exorcist, he uses science, you know, he uses, like, I, I, so, like, he believes, like, I think he believes in exorcism, but he's, he treats it as, like, a virus or something, I don't know, either way, I personally think, Far Pack, I'm gonna give you a four for four, you know, without having seen this, if I see, I might see this on some abysmal, but, um, I know how good Autopsy Jane Doe was, and Krampus, that son of a bitch grows on each time, um, and Jack Frost is a fun watch. It's not something that you're going to, you know, get too serious about. But, and before I let you go, I guess it's a little Christmas Eve bonus, and just because I don't really have anywhere else for it, we're going to throw in a random pit opening. Um, and this is something I just, when I got my mail, I noticed it was sitting here for a while, and I know what this is, um, so it's going to serve as a pin opening and a movie review for anyone who hasn't seen it. I picked this up from a, um, somebody who was selling off a bunch of his pins, and this, to me, is one of, no, it is my, it is the best, the best 80s one-off thrasher, in my opinion. <sighs> there we go. You know who that is? Now, don't, say, don't let the April Fool's part fool you. I'm not talking about April Fool's Day. That is Marty from Sword of High. So if you have not seen Sword of High, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. But anyway, that said, folks, I hope you all have a very, very Merry Christmas with you and yours. You probably won't see me again until Wednesday's Hot Cheetos and Blood. With the exception, if the band box comes in in the next couple hours, maybe I'll do that. Because I, 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 I'm anxious to see if I got the, uh, the Heather Donahue auto that I hope I got. Um, I don't mind spoiling that because that's the only reason I got the box that month. But anyway, have a Merry Christmas, you and yours. And hot Cheetos and blood. I will check you out on a. Uh, I'll check you out on Wednesday, and you get to hear the big guy sing, or you get to watch the train wreck of the big guy singing. I don't know, whichever way you view that. Anyway, you have yourself a good one. Peace out.